what stories that you wrote for Star Trek continues or you know, produced and, and wrote are the most meaningful to you and why? Oh what goodness. are the ones that are? Oh, my goodness. Well, first of all, episode four, The White Iris, was a very powerful episode. Um, the, 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 the thrust of the episode was that Captain Kirk, while being a confident, capable, self-assured leader, deep down inside, he has his own shame, his own regrets, his own heartbreak. And because he's a leader, he shoved it down because he, he didn't want it to affect his ability to command or his ability to, to have the, the, the admiration and loyalty and confidence of his crew. But our fourth episode explored what happens when all of those things that Captain Kirk has shoved down deep inside and put a lid on for years come flooding to the surface. Now, that is a story theme that most everyone, to varying degrees, can relate to. Our very first episode, Pilgrim of Eternity, the theme of the, of the story, which I wrote, was that of self-sacrifice. Um, not necessarily me first and, you know, what I want and to blaze us with, with, with everyone and everything else. But the, the idea was the, the idea of self-sacrifice as an actual form of life energy, that you actually gain life energy and life force by being self-sacrificing for others. Uh, which, again, is a very lofty, noble concept. You know, most people in the world just look out for number one, right? <laughs> they, uh, you know, they, 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 they're looking out for themselves and they're making decisions that benefit them and them and them. And uh, our first episode was about the Greek god Apollo, who in the original series, there was, he, he, he first appeared in an original series episode called Who Mourns for Adonais? And he literally gained power by people worshiping him. What we explored in our first episode was that maybe there's another way to gain energy and life force. And it's not by forcing people to bow down to you, but it's by giving of yourself to helping others. Self-sacrifice as life energy. And it was a beautiful story. Um, we had a lot of those that were very powerful stories, very classic TOS type stories. 